What's up everyone? Coming at you with a quick life update and channel update. I'm here at favorite crawling spot here out at the Hills Have Eyes location in Yarmouth. Got my blue baby here. Rather than sit in front of the camera and just talk to you guys, I figured we'd do some crawling footage while I kind of talk you through what's going on. I do want to preface by saying it's all good news, nothing bad. So I got some really great news to share. So many of you, if you follow me on Instagram for a while, may may or may not know what I do for a living. It's one of the most common questions I get asked when I do AMAs on Instagram. But what I do is I'm in biomedical research and I'm primarily in the business and finance administration aspect of it. I've been doing that for about 12 years now or so and I actually just got a great new job as the executive director slash chief operating officer of a mid-sized research institution in Boston. It's about 200 people, it's a 200,000 square foot building, and it's really the dream job. It's what I've been working for for almost a decade straight. It was exactly what I had my sights set on. Came about earlier than I expected when I was aggressively recruited by a external recruiting firm. So I wasn't really planning on it or looking for it. It just happened to find me, which is awesome. So I've accepted the job and I start next month, about two weeks from the time of this recording. And why I'm doing this video and why I bring this up is that this new job is going to place significant demand on my time, not only from a workload standpoint and responsibility standpoint, but it's also a hefty bit of travel. You know, we live on Cape Cod, hence the name Cape Crawlers, Cape Cod. So traveling to Boston every day, which is what I'm going to have to do, is going to be a big chunk of time in the car or on the bus or train, however I decide to do it. Plus the workload of managing this organization. So where I'm going with this is that it's going to be a real challenge for me to keep up with the channel. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, I'm committed to doing my best to keep the channel going, keep up the cadence that I've established with the bi-weekly videos, and just want to continue to do my best to bring value to you guys and have fun. You know, a lot of times the YouTube thing can erode the fun aspect of the hobby when you start doing it just for videos and content. It can get a little, little monotonous, start to feel like another job than a hobby. So I'm fortunate that my son really helps keep me grounded and keeps the hobby fun. But I have to constantly remind myself to put everything in perspective and remember to have fun because I will very easily suck the fun out of it by focusing on content and chasing views and subscriber numbers and things like that because I'm just a very competitive person. Oh, these, I don't want to get distracted. I got these new Proline BFG crawlers with a Predator compound. This thing is just crushing it. Anyway, my goal is to get back to the fun of it and really just focus on having fun and bringing value to you guys and just keep up the pace as best as I can. But I might miss a video here or there. There's very real possibilities that I'll be traveling overseas to possibly Africa and Asia as part of this job. So it's gonna be an interesting experience, but I certainly don't want to give up the channel. I mean, I'm still having a blast. The channel has grown so much and I definitely don't want to give it up plus Axel is just so in love with RC and he's really getting an interest in the channel as well so I had visions not too long ago of potentially turning the RC thing into a full-time income but it's just not going to match what I'm able to earn with my full-time my professional career trajectory So I've got to be realistic there and think about what it could do for Axel in the future. So I'm kind of transitioning my vision for the channel from a potential full-time income source for me to a potential full-time income source for Axel in the future. So I think with him, I think when he's in high school or you know junior high, or even afterwards, hoping that he's still into the hobby and can keep it going, I think it will be a really great opportunity for him to learn how to manage a small business, you know, do the P&L and the accounting and everything, and juggle priorities, and also that he can make 
a decent amount of money doing something that he loves and has fun doing. Now the YouTube channel is a disproportionate amount of effort for the money that it kicks out. But if I was younger and I didn't have the responsibilities that I did or have the career growing in parallel that I do, then I think the YouTube thing could be a really viable option. But we're a niche within a niche, so it's really challenging to get tons and tons of views and earn tons and tons of money here. So rambling a little bit, but all that to say, for my son when he's younger, or older rather, as a younger person, I think he could do it. Or if you watching this are a younger person or don't have a lot of overhead, I think it's certainly possible to turn the YouTube gig into a full-time income. But for me, it's really just not feasible given the opportunity that I have in front of me. So I've chosen to focus on my primary career path and kind of refocus on the fun of RC because I'm going to need it as an outlet, which is what it really started as for me, a creative outlet, and it's almost like meditation. So that's really where I'm going to get back to with the long-term goal of handing this over to Axel so he can run it and potentially turn it into a business if he so chooses down the road. So that's where I'm at. I appreciate you guys being kind of a sounding board for me. This has been a tough decision. And again, it's not that I'm giving anything up. It's that when I commit to something, I, I fully commit. So I had been on the RC lifestyle, kind of make a living at that mindset for a long time. And that's why I was pushing really hard with the channel, hence the growth that we experienced. But I've just got, got to kind of switch gears because, you know, the biomedical research is also a passion of mine. I lost my dad to heart disease. I've had friends and family pass away from cancer and other diseases. And this is a great opportunity for me to work in a cutting edge environment where I can steer the organization to really make an impact and hopefully save lives in the long term. But I do have to say sincerely, thank you all so much for the support and continued support. I'll probably be featuring Axel a lot more even though he's still, he's gonna be six next month. He's just so into it right now. I wanna start featuring him more. Plus it's just more fun when I involve him and I take it more lightly and have more fun with it. So you'll be seeing a lot more of him. I hope you continue to support the channel. Hopefully there won't be any lapses in content. I'm certainly not gonna skimp on quality. But what you might see is kind of shorter, punchier videos where I'll do my best to convey all of the necessary and important information in a concise format, but still bring as much value to you guys as I can. Look at this thing go. Love it. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. This was fun. Thank you guys again for the support. I love all you guys. I sincerely appreciate it. Let's keep this thing going. I am going to push hard in the short term. We're coming in on 80,000 subscribers at the time of this recording. I'm going to make a big push to see if we can get 100K by the end of the calendar year. That would be awesome. But regardless of how everything goes down, I'm in it for the long haul, and I hope you guys are too. So thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We still got lots more fun stuff coming. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks again.